That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk. Yeah. Well, I, that, that, yeah. The, I need to get myself oriented. Sure. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's All get right. the good seats. Welcome back, Digi Peeps. We're about to go and um, read this dude's thing on his deck. Nico Nicholas Alexander de Silva, born 17th August 1924 in Baltimore, MD to Catherine and Silvestri de Silva. Education, JD International Law, incomplete, New York University. Forced. Mother and father dead. Ex wife. Living in DC. Estranged. Illegitimate daughter. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's go, bloke. Ah, the 1920s. Lights. People didn't care about their lungs. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. Has some Will, Will, Will. problems. Will. Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <sighs> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? <laughs> I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. I haven't slept more than a couple hours in years. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. Like I said, this is our office and our bunks. Maybe someday they'll get the barracks up and running. No. I mean, I barely sleep at all. Well, can't say I blame you. Not after the morning you had. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office. ASAP, as always. The old man say what he wanted with me? Ha! <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything he doesn't think they... need to know. Oh, well, I guess you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me. Seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah well, it'll be just like college, right? Yeah, except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. Had my own bathroom and everything. Oh, ain't you fancy. Mm -hmm. Are you saying something about that radio? Oh yeah, cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music. But it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure, that's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. 
She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, manages what the public hears. The whole deal. I'd right. better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. So I guess this is my desk. That's my profile. So, mother deceased, father deceased, wife deceased, son deceased. So that's why he's got some problems. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the radio operators. Nine. You probably ought to run that by operator Chelsky across Message the hall. Repeats. Might be important. Two. Five. Come on, Chalski. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Excellent. Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? The radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Aw, oh, man, I wasn't even listening. Set the range to 100. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 155 kilohertz. Checking low frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. Now I need to go back across the hall and look at it again. 250 November 892. 250 North. Yes, sir? Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I it could be survival. It's worth checking. First set, set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction oh. north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is. It's survivors. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now, which way do I go? Up there. Old boy's office. You were there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just... His file paints a different picture. Okay, agents. Let's begin. We going on another wild goose chase, Director? Not this time, agents. Because I brought in an expert agent who I expect to turn the tide. Allow me to introduce your new senior agent, Miss Angela Weaver. Agent Weaver, please begin. Good evening, agents. Now, we have reason to believe our target is... <laughs> this is some kind of joke? I assure you, I do not joke about potential infiltrate. Come on, miss. Get back to reception and leave the real work to us, okay? Agent Percy, watch your tone. Director, how many concrete cases of the outsiders have your agents uncovered to this date? That would be zero. And how many have I uncovered in my own investigations? Two confirmed. One pending. Thank you, Director. If I may continue... Listen up, Agent Percy. Maybe you'll learn how to do your job. Yes, sir. Now, we have reason to believe an infiltrator has compromised military command. Wow, oh, that was savage. Security installation is almost complete. Director Fogg. Closed-circuit security systems have been installed in several of the facility's main rooms as well as the corridors. 
This covers all major sections of the base and at your request we have added a monitoring station in the office in your office. Recording options has also been provided. Some of the crew have concerns about installing cameras in the living and hygiene quarters. I told them I understand, but with potential infected we can't we just can't be too careful. So you can expect all surveillance to be in place soon. Pat Barkley maintenance. Well, I'm not so sure I feel Speak comfortable the devil. Putting surveillance. Carter. Good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. Well, you know, you can see whatever you want, guys. To conclude, all signs show a pattern of systemic interference that cannot be explained by known enemies. Come over here, Carter. I'd like a walk. But I'm not sure what you're suggesting. These activities aren't from... What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. Why me? I've been behind a desk since... Well, for a while. Yeah, but you were a hell of an agent before you sat behind that desk. And what's more, I know what put you behind that desk. The brass put me there. Sure, the brass made the call. But it was you who kept yourself there. I don't need another round of psychobabble. I had enough of that from the company shrinks after the incident. It was an accident, Carter. Beyond your control. Right, right, yeah. And next you tell me how I can't save everyone. It's too late for that. But you can save some of them. And right now, that might be enough. Right. Well, I'm with you, Falk. If only because, for all we know, this clown show you're running here is all that's left of our nation's defenses. Then that makes you one of the nation's best weapons. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No. The circle was kept quite small on this. What is this place? I mean, when aliens from another world aren't attacking our planet. This facility is essentially fulfilling its intended function right now. It was created to respond to a potential invasion on domestic soil. Do all of these people work here? No. Typically you won't find much more than a skeleton crew here. But certain carefully selected individuals across all military disciplines are aware of this facility's existence. In the case of a domestic invasion, they're under orders to arrive here. I never knew about this place. Well, based on your performance at Groom Range, I'd say that omission was a grievous oversight. Yes, What's our plan? Really. Our first order of business is to get this facility running at full capacity. I believe our best shot at defeating an enemy with superior technology is to take that technology from them and make it our own. And we got the facilities to do that? We're still finishing construction on the lab. But we've already got one of the best leading the team, Dr. Dresner. And he won't be doing it alone. I'm in the midst of organizing field teams to be sent on recon and recruitment missions for other specialists. All right, let's get on with it then, shall we? De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. Yeah, we're gonna assemble a team. Oh. Well, she don't want to talk to me, apparently. Can't go that way, so I guess I go down here. Can I go through there? Welcome aboard, so sir. What do they Thank look you. like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know, some kind of monsters or something. I don't even know where we are, bro. Probably... Yeah, I got no idea. This way, I guess. You lost, pal. Well, ready room's that way. Thank you. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. I'll right. tell him right away. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research in high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? 
Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking them down, but you need to get a team ready to help, quick and quiet. Okay. Mm, university, Rosemont. This is over here. Take a seat, gentlemen. Director Falk has personally chosen you for this initiative, and I will be your team leader. It's an honor to work with you, Agent Silva. We're all honored. Come on, Will. Pick a team. No more flying solo. What we'd be doing, for the most part, is what you're familiar with. You're all experienced field agents, so investigation and recovery in hostile environments aren't new to you. You said it best in the service, and it brings all the normal risks of any field work involving hostiles. Yes, but Director Falk said something about. Unusual subjects? Yes, they might be yeah. different than you're used to. You mean, uh, we're not going that. after the Reds? So, who are we looking for? We believe we have uncovered a new enemy of the state. We'll be investigating the exact nature of their organization. Oh, understood. I think. You can put us up against anybody in the world, sir. Yes, well, uh, about that. <laughs> Yeah, um, they're not in the world. This is a list of available agents. Falk has gathered everyone he could find from all the agencies. All of them specialists, all of them the best at what they do. Yes, okay, cool. So what happened to all oh, of that? Because the other ones are high rank. So what do we got? Deme, what do you, what do you got going on? Deme? Chiba? Um, ability view. I don't know what that means. Agent details. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Sniper rifle, standard pack, critical strike. Uh, yep. Abilities. Perks. Endurance training. Takes less damage in combat. Okay, what do we got here? Demaray. What do you got, Demaray? Machine pistol. Combat stims. Increased accuracy of weapons, McFall, shotgun, scatter, increases duration of all abilities, and San Pedro, M14 rifle, and taunt, uh, alright well, how many do I get to take? Take Sam Pedro and McFall. And do I want Demaray or Chiba? Let's take Chiba. Okay, no, I can't. Uh -uh, I can only take two for now. Alright, so these are my two guys. I got San Pedro and Chiba. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, so I close that, I guess. Carter, I chased the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Carter, get through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it, Nils. Hold on. Okay, which way am I going? Attention, Code 4 Base 4. Sky Ranger Charlie 4-2 inbound with heavy casualties. Medical units have made 4, Code Blue. Gotta be smart, guys. Turn it to off when the helicopter's coming down the pad. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. Falcon Man's body has been checked and should allow us to care for the patients. Said the number of injuries are returning from the field still not need. We still need to ration accordingly as the supply is not indefinite and supply lines are strained at best. Please remember to use all medical supplies sparingly. It's going to be a long war. Ah, uh, see what they did there. Alright, man, bring that pistol out. But he's dead. This doesn't bode well, guys. 
Are these bodies stacked up on top of each other? That's a little, uh... Well, not good. Shell casings everywhere. I'm not sure that's a human footprint. There's anything going on around here. There's a, a body there. There's a trail of blood. This is not boating well. Oh, there's a body. Ah, oh Christ, Nils. Do not grieve. He died well. Why? Why kill Nils? Why attack our world? You do not understand. This world is no longer yours. But you will learn. Mosaic will teach you. What the hell is Mosaic? Mosaic is the truth that humanity shall come to know. It is unfortunate that you will not be here to witness it. Yeah, well I know one truth that you don't. And what is that? You're surrounded. He's far, fellas. He's worth more to us alive. Let's get him into custody. I got the infiltrator, Falk. Alive. Good work. You and Agent Nils, report to. Nils is dead. I told him to wait for backup, but he went in without me. Understood. Meet me and Ops. We've got work to do. Well. Oh. Bring him in, blokes. Get him, Carter? Yeah. I got him. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Nils. He's gone. Damn it. I should have been there. Listen, uh, I gotta head out. Director's got us on a recon mission. When I get back, we'll raise a glass to Nils. All right. Good luck, Agent De Silva. I don't need luck. And the name's Nico. Will. Shibidi doo. What do we got over here? To all base staff, we apologize for power flow that are causing brownouts throughout the facility. Engineers are working around the clock on bringing all necessary electrical subsystems up to speed, but the size of the project is taking a toll on our systems. We request your patience and restraint in unnecessary power use, particularly we request that Dr. Heinrich and his team in the research lab limit their power consumption. While I appreciate the gravity of the situation we're in, along with the fact that we have never had to run a f the at full capacity, continued power disruptions will cause unavoided delays in production. Donald P. Wrangler, Senior Staff Engineer. Alright guys, we're going up. Hope you don't mind. No, sorry. We're going down. My bad. shibbity doo Anyway guys, I think we'll leave it here for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked this episode, smash that like and subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter at Mark. And as always, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.